that. Well, growing up in Oakland was a very beautiful, very beautiful thing. I was because there were so many musicians there, um, so many, you know, talent shows everywhere and. Everywhere you went, there were like, you know, there's a telephone pole with this cardboard on it. And it's like, Ray's talent show, $500 to the first prize. Most of my influences were, you know, anybody who played a guitar, you know, from B.B. Um, King, um, Muddy Waters, like, you know, my, my father would play blues around the house. My stepfather would play these tapes and, just local bands. I had a lot of local bands, like this guy named Roy Tyler, played with a group called the Gospel Hummingbirds. He was one of the guys I, I, I first looked at who was wearing like suits and skinny, like peg like pants and skinny ties. I think the, the way I did, I keep everything fresh for me, you know, with the music and everything is, I just happen to love watching other bands play too, you know, like going to festivals and watching all these other bands play and, and watching people just discover music. And I think that keeps me doing, you know, fresh music, wanting to write new songs, make new albums, come up with new, new events for music, and you know, that's how it should be, you know. It can never get stagnant if you, if you truly love what you're doing. Well, the music I'm doing now, people ask the question all the time, like, you know, the music sounds, uh, vintage or old, you know, do you use analog or are you using digital? And I use a little bit of both, but I tell people all the time, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you use. <laughs> you know, I can give you some professional professional uh, surfboard. You don't mean that you can actually be able to surf or if I give you Michael Jordan's, you know, jersey, you can't play like him. You gotta have the chops. It doesn't matter what equipment you have, you just gotta have it in your heart. If you don't have it there, you know, just forget about it.